Oh, look at this. Alright, alright. What's up guys, welcome to another video, Wolf Rider here, thank you for being back at the channel tonight. We're going to meet somebody that I've been looking forward to meet, you guys probably already know them, if not I want to let you know, but you don't have to wait to the end of the video to see who it is. We're going to get this load that we have here delivering in Texas, in McKinney, Texas, we're going to deliver that in the morning. I ran up a check, I might do it again, enemies close, have me thinking they friends, ten toes down, I'll be free into the end, crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass, took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins, I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins, I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend, if I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up, I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what, add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what, told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I'ma cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold. What's up, guys? How's it going? We got to our delivery. All right, finished pulling the tops off, but I still gotta end the straps. This is what we were carrying. That's what we were carrying on this load from California. Got the straps laid out, pulled out the way so they can uh, go ahead and start unloading me on each side and uh got the tarps right here which i'm about to start folding so we're gonna get the, this going and then uh last night i met somebody super cool been looking forward to meeting the this person for a while now so uh, but it is what it is but let me get this going i'll be right back guys So that was one. I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna do this one. We'll catch up in a second. Cause you guys remember that video you guys saw yesterday of uh or the other day, whenever I posted this. Um getting the truck washed and tell you about how long my work day is. Well, but somebody, like I told you, but when I came out of the car wash on the other side after I paid, they cracked the windshield. So we're gonna go fix that after this. So uh I gotta call in find out where I want to be going after this so uh, I'll catch you guys up in a second an update all right let's go this is the instructions we got oh, hold on one sec how to move those tops but the instructions we got now is that we gotta go take the trailer sorry for the noise but we're in Texas it sounds beautiful doesn't it we're going to take the trailer to a uh, tow yard because they can't keep it at the Kenworth. They don't have space for it. And then we're going to drive to the Kenworth facility, which uh, might fix it today or tomorrow morning. That's the plan for right now. We're going to take the trailer, drop it off at a tow yard, lock it up. Uh, they give us a king, uh, kingpin lock for that. And, uh, and go to that uh, Kenworth dealership and go find out when they're gonna have time for it. And I'll catch you guys up there, all right? So, it'll be in a flash. What's up guys, just a quick update of what's been going on. 
it is actually Friday um, we got here yesterday afternoon as, as you guys already know from uh, yesterday we got to the Kenworth dealership after dropping off the trailer at a different location came out here to south of end of Dallas uh, for 635 to the Kenworth dealership down here uh, but the guy wasn't gonna show up yesterday so they told me to come in this morning I could stay here at the yard but there's a couple of truck stops just a mile from here so I just went to a pilot park for the night get something to eat rest a shower and stuff um, but we came back here at 7 30 this morning they told me he you know he wouldn't be here or things wouldn't start to at least 9 a.m. so I got here at 7 30 to do the paperwork and everything else in part so and that's what we've been doing I kind of cleaned up the truck a little bit wiped it down back in the floor nice to try to keep it nice and clean um, you know brush nylon off and things like that and uh, clean up the dash you just gotta stay busy you know one thing that I recommend is keep your truck clean it's your home it keeps you an uply, uplift and energy so but we're just waiting guys so I'm actually gonna get on my laptop and uh, edit a couple of videos or at least one video uh, until if I got time until they show up so hopefully it's not too long I actually uh, unfortunately missed a very good run that I could have had yesterday afternoon uh, because of this uh, unless for some reason they held up for me, but uh, I, I wouldn't think so, you know, because uh, these things we never know. When you go to a shop, kind of downsize, you never know how long it's going to take, uh, whether it's the shop or you know, mechanics or something like this, you're, you're never sure. So unless you're already under a load, it kind of sucks uh, in that sense. So, but anyway, it is what it is. It's Friday. We're here. We're still jamming. We're still positive. Who knows? I might get something cool. Uh, anyway to finish up the week that I can deliver Monday and that's my my hopes that I'm able to do that so hope you guys are enjoying the content uh, I'll keep you guys updated when the guy comes and uh, maybe film a little bit of them fixing the uh, windshield for you guys and uh, we'll catch up from there and we'll see what comes up next all right so uh, now keep in mind at the end of this video I'm gonna show you who I met last night so uh, if you're not part of my Instagram you kind of if you're on my Instagram you know because I post things there first but if you're not make sure to go check it out just wait to the end of the video um, and again I appreciate you guys all watching so hope uh, I'll update you guys in a little bit well guys still nothing still sitting here it is four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, nothing no update no uh, the only positive side 24 hours has passed so now I start getting paid for sitting here in the shop and not being able to run. A little bit frustrated right now, a little bit tired. I'm about to go in there again, try to get an update. If I don't get out of here today or to tomorrow, at some point tomorrow, I'm definitely not going anywhere till Monday. Uh, that's unlikely. Uh, I mean, I might get a load to drive somewhere to go pick it up, but I may not go anywhere till Monday. Not much going on. Even Nyla's taking a nap. But I don't sleep, but we'll see. What, Nyla? Hmm? No, 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 off. I'm not off, off. Sit down. She gets super excited. She gets super excited when you talk to her. Well, guys, no, no, no much of a change. Uh, I'm waiting for a phone call from inside the office. They actually call the place and it looks like the glass people or the installers of the glass, because the glass is actually here in the shop, they dropped the ball. Ah, it's just one of those days, guys. It's one of those days. <laughs> a little frustrated. It's a waste of a day. Um, definitely lost some miles and some money. You know, you get paid. It's been over 24 hours, so you get paid layover or whatever they call it, maintenance pay for being sitting here but yeah it's after 24 hours so um, I already notified the office about that so now it's just a waiting game now it's right again it's Friday afternoon so even if it gets fixed tomorrow some point mid morning or whatever am I gonna get a load to get out of Dallas I might have to sit here till Monday to get a load we don't know but uh, my DM is gone I know that for a fact. So, that is most likely what's going to happen. Oh, the phone's ringing. Let's see what happens. Hello, this is Lewis. Hey, this is uh, Anthony Kenworth. So, they said that they will be here tomorrow morning between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. 
All right. Um, said okay then if I go to get some I mean to status truck stop and just be back here in the morning then yeah yeah just make sure you're here around that time not a problem alrighty thanks bud what well you heard it guys another day so uh, I'm gonna go get something to eat probably go take a shower have to pay for that shower because I haven't put fuel anywhere so uh, yeah but let's go before the sun completely goes away. All right, so I'll update you guys tomorrow on this one. Appreciate sure you hanging on. Well, guys, the windshield got replaced. No more crack. You guys can see it. No more crack. Sorry I didn't actually get to record the guy doing it, but it literally just took him 10 minutes this morning. It is, uh, it took him 10 minutes to change the windshield. And he, he was, this guy was wondering why they didn't come yesterday to do it. Right now we're sitting, we have to give it probably about an hour or so, two hours to let it kind of cure a little bit before I can, you know, before I move the truck. Anyway, at least got the windshield fixed. Uh, just kind of want to let you know, you know, been sitting here, just kind of crap can happen so uh it doesn't happen very often but it can happen so it's just part of part of being out here as a truck driver and a company driver and dealing with all the kind of stuff so at least thank you guys for putting up and watching and taking care of and it's nice in dallas hope you guys are being safe but um i'm gonna go i'm gonna wait a couple hours see what happens otherwise i might do a 34 well i already did a 34 technically so i might have to do and <laughs> a long break other than that i'll catch you guys up uh when i take off if I take off so I'll check you guys when in later on when I recheck in and see if I do get a load leaving Dallas or not today and uh, I'll update you guys then all right what's up guys welcome back I uh, just wanted to give you another quick update so the windshield got fixed and after the last little update right after I finished that um, I don't remember right now if the guy has shown up but um, a guy from the dealership came out and basically told me that the truck was also being some type of service being done to it some campaign they got can't work that going on in the 2020s and they need to do some filter excuse me some filter work and uh, probably wouldn't be ready till like five o'clock well yeah I definitely wasn't ready till about five um, at least it got ready tonight I just, I'm back in the truck back in the truck stop uh, check with my dispatch extended hours and basically there they told me as far as load wise it's, it's as of right now, it's gonna be Monday. Um, the trailer again is still 30 minutes from here, but it's Dallas Fort Worth, and then it's Dallas afternoon or Saturday. I'm not gonna go find parking anywhere else at this time of the afternoon. So um, I came back to the pilot where I was uh, fly, pilot flying J, where I've been just a mile down the street, and I will be here till we get a load. At best case scenario, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll spend the night where the trailer is at. I think I'll be all right doing that, you know, like spending a night there and then hoping to get a load. I'm sure I'll get a load or go somewhere Monday first thing in the morning. And then I'm already hooked up to the trailer, but I'm not going to spend a whole day in the middle of nowhere uh, or trying to find a truck stop where to go for food or showers and things like that. So I'm going to stay right here and then we'll deal with that, figure that out tomorrow. Uh, if by any miracle there's not a, they don't send me to drive somewhere tomorrow to get a load on Monday but further out so that can happen as well but I just want to give you guys that update I'm gonna finish this video here guys I know you guys been waiting to see who I met the other night and uh, some of you guys may already know but I'll go ahead and hit back to that night and finish the video with that guys uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me for the last couple days I still got Sunday to be here uh, so I'm just probably gonna work on some edits maybe do a live tomorrow uh, so or actually I may you know what I'm gonna edit this video right now and it's going to go up tonight Saturday a little late but it's gonna go up so that way tomorrow I think if I don't run anywhere I'm gonna do a live tomorrow and uh, chat with you guys on Sunday afternoon how about that thanks again for watching you know what to do we'll see you next next one we'll fry it out peace uh Oh, uh, look at this. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs>
what's up guys so oops, let me turn that out you can see me a little better but we're here with Edo 6 driver you guys already know his channel if you haven't I'm gonna put the link below just to make sure to go check it out uh, but he's one of being been one of my greatest supporter in this journey uh, for the last few months or whatever and uh, it's, it's been awesome so we're going through Memphis Texas and I say hey Chris, I'm gonna be down the street. <laughs> I said, come on with it. <laughs> we'll be here. Luckily, I was here today because I, I was in Oklahoma last night, so we got lucky. It worked out good. Uh, it's second week in a row I've had a YouTuber call and say, hey, where are you at? And I've been able to meet up. I said, we're gonna make a habit of this or something. Nice, right? But, but yeah, it, it worked out great, guys. And uh, it, was, it was great to actually get to meet each other in person and, uh, you know, and meet Nala here. She's a, she, She's a good dog. Yep. She, I, I think she's taking a little bit of a liking to me. Yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> like, she's looking at me because uh, he's he's sitting in her chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm taking her chair. <laughs> Got a stranger in here. <laughs> right, right. He's taking your chair. I know, just for a little bit longer. <laughs> but man, we've been chatting here for a little bit, just catching up, getting to know each other a little better, sharing some stories out. Um, I told you guys in the beginning of the video I was gonna meet somebody special. Just, just have to wait to the end. <laughs> but it's definitely Chris. I, I mean, he's been awesome. Uh, you guys got to go check out his channel. If you, by any chance, don't know Edo 6 Driver, go check him out. The link's there below and on top on the corner. So make sure to go check him out, guys. But uh, it's, it's been awesome, man. Yeah, it's, yeah cool. it's been cool. And, guys, you know what? Uh, it, just a little background. What kind of brought me to uh, to find Lewis and his channel is... Uh, you know, I, I was just doing a search one night on, on some flatbed work and seen that work for Melton. And, it, and it's like I say all the time, you know, edit, editing is what, <laughs> that's what grabs my eye all the time, you know, is when people got some really awesome editing skills and this dude's got it right here. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't let him fool you. But also, nah. you know, his, uh, uh, his, uh, um, you know, he's, um, uh, Ashley rides yeah, with you. Yeah. So, and that's kind of what I've been thinking about is, uh, my son is he's a my my youngest child he's gonna be a, he's a senior this year so he's gonna graduate and I, i've always done local and regional type work but i've really been thinking about stepping out and, and going over the road or going a little more a little more regional little more as you would say <laughs> and uh and I, I really i've done a lot of flatbed work you know uh step deck and rgm but not really so much flatbed so i kind of got to look in there looking into Melton a little bit and then and I ran across the, the channel and uh, and and my wife and I were kind of thinking about kind of doing the same thing you guys are doing yeah. so yeah. and uh, so guys uh, I really enjoyed the channel you know and uh, especially for uh, guys that are new to the industry you know uh, this this is this is the man right here he'll tell you how it is and uh, he'll tell you how it is and and, and what to expect and uh, what you need to be prepared for and uh, Wearing the right gloves, not not wearing uh, not wearing tennis shoes up to North Dakota, right, right? Thirty years, thirty below, and uh, having some light. Being prepared, being yeah. prepared, and, definitely. Uh, know how to sweet talk people to let them take your tarps inside so they'll throw out so you can roll them up. You know, uh, it, that's the tricks of the trade, guys. You know, and uh, yep, yep. But um, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a great channel, and, and I'm really glad uh, that I've got to know you. You know, through the through. Uh, through social media, you know, we're both on IG uh, and uh, Facebook and, well, uh, yeah. yeah, Facebook, yeah, Facebook. Facebook and uh, Instagram, and, uh, Instagram uh, TikTok, Snapchat, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> more, it, the, the hodgepodge of social media networks, you know, uh, I guess we're, we're involved in them all, you know, this is just kind of our uh, our life within our life, so, yeah. uh, and uh, this is kind of how the world works today, and uh, that's how we, uh, that's how we put out our daily, our daily lives, and, uh, Man, it's, it's it's really neat. And this is what I like about it: getting to know, you know, people you would never meet in your whole life, or never have a, definitely, uh, never even think about meeting in your whole life, and and then all of a sudden, you know, you, hey man, I got a buddy out in California, you know, I'm right <laughs> here in Texas or whatever. So, no, it's really cool. I'm glad I'm glad we got to meet up today, and, and things worked out, the stars aligned, and uh, and uh, here we are. Here so, we are. Here, here we, we are. are. Definitely. You know, it's it's. It's been, it's just amazing meeting people like you were saying, networking and and when you guys have questions, this is, if I don't know the answer, you know, there's somebody else I can ask, you know, in the industry, he's, he's got way more experience than I do as far as years in trucking. Uh, he's hands on with engines and all the trucks and things like that. So that's what you'll see in his channel. But to me, that's what catches my eyes. It's like 
different side of the story of what yeah. you do, you know, hauling feed for cattle and things like that that I probably know don't plan to do it, but <laughs> You know, but yep. if I did, I was like, "Hey, Chris, uh, how do I get what into I this stuff? What this, I need yeah. to do?" So, uh, you got to network, and if you're in this business or any business, you got to network. And uh, we just happen to love doing YouTube and sharing for you guys what we do, um, and we're just glad that you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah. uh, Jorge, if you're watching, we we got to figure out a way to all yeah, we, to, uh, we get got together all three again, right? Man, we might have to. Uh, <laughs> We had to put a third seat in there or something, man, where we all sat in a, in a row here and be like old school bench seat in a, in a 72 Chevy pickup or something, you know, where, we, where we can all hang out up front. But uh, but yeah, and, and and that being said, you know, Jorge, he was a he was a big inspiration to me when I first started, you know, as far as building my channel and uh, and uh, content and ideas and whatnot. And heck, before I didn't, I couldn't even talk like this, you know. <laughs> Especially, yeah, I'm all right between two people because you know you keep conversation going. But when yep. when you're trying to talk to a camera by yourself and come up on the fly, I'm so ADD, y'all, that I I just kind of bounce from here to there and there to here and there. It's kind of hard to stay on track. So, uh, but he he really helped me with that and helped me learn how to kind of little stay a little more focused and on track and and on topic and and on my channel, it's it's just more of a. a uh, I just kind of do more of a what my uh, I, most of my things I call it a day in the life of you know yep. a day in the life of an ag hauler and, yep. uh, and one day I might be pulling a hopper bottom, next day I might be pulling a live bottom trailer unloading some feed or cotton seed, and then next day and then we pull a lot of tanker you know pulling and uh, hauling a fertilizer out for this is a rural community rural area here there's a lot of farming and uh, definitely and we haul all the fertilizer for them guys so that's just kind of what my channel is. and then. Uh, I'll take y'all into the shop with me sometimes, you know, when uh, doing breaks or uh, have a, something break down on the truck and kind of show you how to fix it and try to do tips and tricks on that too, just to kind of put that out there. So. Yeah, and I, I like that because that's like totally different side of, of trucking that right now I'm not into. Sorry guys, I'm moving you guys around, but <laughs> a quick, quick, quick snap here while we're meeting up. So, uh, uh, but I, I definitely love that about your channel, just, just that other side of trucking, hands-on trucking and... Um, like the same thing, you know, one day, you know, hopefully I can get my own truck and it's the same thing. If I have a question about something I don't know, I know I can reach, you know, uh, and at least get an idea of what put my hands on. I'll look for this, look for that if I have trouble. So, Thank you. Thank so you. that's, that's, that's a cool part of what we do, man. But I didn't want to take too much of his time because it is nighttime and I know the boy's working hard. <laughs> and yeah, you guys saw on the last video, he said he's not going to do a lot of content because he's working hard. <laughs> but I had to take advantage of it. I'm coming through here and said, Chris, you got, we, oh, got, yeah. we got to meet. We had to do it. We had to do it. This is, a, it meet. might be, it might be eight months for something like this is able to happen yeah. again. So, yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and if you guys are wondering, Ashley, the truck is empty. Ashley's not with me. <laughs> <laughs> she actually stayed, stayed home for a couple of weeks. Oh. Uh, so it's just me on the road. So it's it's. Uh, uh, she does say hi though because I was on the phone when we spoke yeah. before I got here. Nyla, <laughs> off, off. Come on, I know that's your chair. She, I tell you, she's possessive with that chair. Um, but I told her you, you you say hi. She's like, oh, she thought he thought about me. Yeah, of course yeah. he did. He, he, he we're a pair. We're oh, all together. You're so, a team. You know, that's yeah. just a, a left, a left and right, and up and down. You know, that's it. There's. There's always somebody there for somebody, and, uh, and that's yours. So. Yeah, <laughs> definitely is. So, guys, may, I'm gonna let you go here. Thanks for coming back to the channel. You guys know what to do. We'll keep going, but make Please. sure to go check out 806 channel. Links in below and on top of the right-hand corner of the car. So, make sure to go check it out. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. And like I always say, keep the shiny side up, hammer down, support your veterans, and uh, hit that like button. Yeah. <laughs> Leave in some comments. You know, tell your buddies, tell your friends. Uh, and if uh, if you're watching, you got a channel, uh, you know, just just uh, spread the word. Spread the word. Wolf Rider 750. Definitely. It's, 806 it's, Driver. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. See you guys.